If Congress does not pass legislation to increase the debt ceiling, then we risk defaulting on our debt, which would be a global economic catastrophe because the entire global economy rests on um, the US economy and we wouldn't be able to pay our bonds. So the stock market would plunge, we would, millions of people would lose their jobs and we wouldn't be able to pay federal workers, et cetera. Hi, my name is Eliza Rillman. I'm a correspondent on the economy team at Insider. So the debt ceiling is a cap or a limit on the amount of debt that the federal government can accumulate. And it has to be reviewed by Congress and then approved when the government wants to spend more than the limit. So we technically already hit the debt limit back in January, but the Department of the Treasury has moved around money and taken what they call extraordinary measures to make sure that we can pay our debts for several months. But Janet Yellen, the Treasury Secretary, has said that we will hit that limit for real on June 1st of this year. House Republicans passed the Limit Save Grow Act, which is a bill that would dramatically cut federal spending in exchange for raising the debt ceiling by $1.5 trillion or until March 31st of next year, whichever comes first. And that bill would heavily cut by on average of 18% over the next 10 years discretionary spending in our budget. For example, that bill would cut spending um, at HUD, the Department of Housing and Urban Development, and they have warned that that would mean they would have to cut housing assistance programs for many needy families um, who rely on that assistance for shelter. We've been spending more and more money on Social Security, Medicare, healthcare costs take up an increasing amount of our budget. We also spend a good chunk of our budget on defense. We're also spending money paying the interest on our debt. So there's a, a bunch of different things that we spend money on. So Biden responded to the bill by calling it reckless and saying, you know, it was dead on arrival and he would not sign anything of the sort. So um, he has basically rejected that proposal. I've done my part. We put forward a proposal to cut spending by more than a trillion dollars. On top of the nearly three trillion dollars in deficit reduction that I previously proposed through the combination of spending cuts and new revenues. Now it's time for the other side to move their, from their extreme positions because much of what they've already proposed is simply, uh, quite frankly, unacceptable. But he's now negotiating with Kevin McCarthy, leading the Republicans, and also working with congressional leaders in the Senate to figure out, you know, a compromise that could pass Congress. We should pull back money that's been wasted. We should help people get jobs by having work requirements. We've seen that work time and again. We should find ways that we cap the amount of spending going out late because the Democrats had spent so much. If Congress does not pass legislation to increase the debt ceiling, um, Biden has said he's considered invoking the 14th Amendment, part of which says that the debt must be paid. And so essentially that would say it's, it would make a constitutional argument to say that we have to pay our debts regardless of what Congress says. So it would just sort of eliminate the debt ceiling. The Democrats want a clean increase of the debt ceiling. They don't want to make any spending cuts or concessions in order to raise the limit. They just want to raise it in order to um, fulfill you know, the appropriations bills that the Congress has already passed and um, pay the debts that, con that, that the government owes that they have already approved. We've raised the debt ceiling almost 80 times since 1960. So it's, it's a regular occurrence. The last time it happened was in December, 2021. But this time the Republican party has taken a stronger stance towards tying spending cuts to the debt ceiling agreement. So there are some compromises that Biden has suggested he would be open to. And so it looks like they're sort of inching towards a potential agreement, but we don't know when that will happen or what it will look like exactly.